Hello everybody, I'm Jimmy Fantastic and welcome to some Fantastic Chaos Dwarf news. You can see first of all uh, the pitch has been revealed somewhat there. Looks pretty nice I think for tabletop. Very clear lines on the grid. I mean that is what I want. When I want a pitch I want to know where the squares are. Gets a little bit mixed up towards the middle but you know you've still got the corners there. So it's not so bad in the middle and yeah super clear squares. So I really like that pitch from the thumbnail. Um, that's number one. Number two we've got an article on the Warhammer community. I can link to it in the description. They talk about the pre-orders are coming soon, so it's about three weeks, I think, till the team will be available. The three-star players, bull centaurs, dice cards, pitchers, all of this stuff. There's another picture you can see. A lovely grid. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so, you know, talk about it a little bit. They've still got big hats, but they've evolved. They're more like Pope hats now. Uh, strangely, don't show anyone in the picture there. Oh, you can see one there. But um, yes, they you know it's wanted to keep them how they were. So this is what it's very interesting because they hint at some things here. They've the Chaos Dwarf blockers have retained block, but lost tackle, so not quite good against agile teams. Now, this is to this is to partly differentiate them from the other dwarves. So that kind of implies that normal dwarves, regular dwarves, won't be losing tackle. That was something people were a bit worried about. Also, it only says the Chaos Dwarf blockers. It doesn't say the uh, Fire Smiths. And uh, yes, here is confirmation. More pictures there. Confirmation of the Ironheart skin change. People weren't sure whether it was just going to be skills or all it modifiers but it quite clearly says now this skill will ignore all modifiers no mighty blow no no dirty player no chainsaw and no foul assists right that's a modifier and it will be added to the errata document so that, that is a huge buff to Einhard skin it's somewhat of a nerf funnily enough to, to gutter runners randoming skills uh, often gutter runners will like random skills and they couldn't get Einhard skin because they weren't affected by claw anyway but now it is going to be good, you know, for them getting fouled and stuff, right? Especially if they get plus AV. So that, that really makes Ironheart's skin a lot better, right? You you can't mighty blow them, you can't claw them, and they're much, much better against fouling. So uh, fouling is the main the main pull of the Ironheart skin, honestly. Uh, so yeah, it's going to make going to make like stuff like Chaos and Nurgle that can get it as a mutation. It's going to make them more durable. And it really does make the Chaos Dwarves themselves more durable. But the loss of tackle is is a big loss. So here's Hobgoblin Linemen, Bull Centaur Blitzers and Minotaurs, if you're American, are all identical to how they were before. Now this kind of implies price, which is interesting because Bull Centaurs are worn 30. Another one three five, or maybe they mean the teams of legend. So maybe they are, maybe they are still one three five. Um, but yeah, he talks a bit a little bit about strategy, which is, um, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, you you tend to carry on hobgoblins and foul with hobgoblins, and you use your bull centaurs as like blitzers, stars of the team. Um, the sneaky stabber, the new position, has shadowing and stab. Which, you know, they'd already said that. The Chaos Dwarf Flamesmith has the Breathe Fire, which they've already said. But what's very interesting here is it says he's a little more aggressive, an offensive positional who's a little quicker than a blocker. Which that sure implies if they're a little quicker, they're movement five, right? So that is huge. That is basically confirmed that they're movement five, which is interesting for what's to come. Here's the Breathe Fire trade. Um, went through this when it was initially spoiled, it's it's not very good, right? It's it's obviously not very good. The fact that it, it has the minus one versus strength five is really sad because it could have been a good answer to big guys. But with losing that, the fact that you're just knocking, that you're placing them prone on a four or a five, like that's brutal. You're only knocking them down on a six. It's It really is only gonna be useful if you're like guard locked, um, you know, like surrounded by guards and you can't do anything, or if 
they've got a vampire. So a vampire, first of all, you haven't got tackle. And uh, second of all, most of your mates who've got guard have been hypnogazed. So you probably don't have assists either unless you activate them to get assists. So versus vampires, it'll probably be pretty good. Um, of course, the problem you'll face against vampires is if you get to breathe fire on them, you're probably 1-0 down already anyway. And <laughs> and good against, you know, just like defensive players because it's hard to take down defensive players, strength four defensive players for Chaos Wars, even if you've got loads of guard. So it will have its uses, but it's it's not a great, not a great trait at all. And um, now here we go. We talk about Hathark and this is confirmation. I had heard that he's strength six. And this is confirmation, he is strength 6, block, break, tackle, juggernaut. So that is... Uh... Now I also heard he had defensive, so it looks like that's incorrect. But strength 6, block, break, tackle, juggernaut is incredible. Like, that makes him an amazing star. And, uh, you know, with his special, pretty nice. I, I felt like he had to be strength 6, right? When, when you compared his cost to Morgan Thorg, it would kind of be crazy if he wasn't strength 6. So yeah, that's a good to confirm that Hathark will be strength six there, and a uh, bit of art. Zarg Madai gets his first ever miniature after three decades. That's crazy that he's beat. He was in the very first, the very first like uh, you know third edition Death Zone, and it's taken him forever to get a model. But there you go, he's in. Yeah, Hail Mary pass is confirmed. So you know you can you can pass. I think that already was confirmed. And then Rashnak Backstabber, you know, we don't talked about him on the previous video. And yet they all play for Badlands Brawl, so you know they're not just purely limited to Chaos Dwarves. And the, the a Darklands Derby is a Chaos Dwarf hosted league with alternative rules. They've done this for some of the other things, haven't they, in the spike, so that makes sense. Uh, dirty play and foot inducements. The Chaos Dwarf Sorcerer can turn players' boots to stone or lob a hunk of brimstone onto the pitch. So that, you know, that could be good. That could be good. Depends, of course, whether you use those rules as well. Weather table, volcanic eruptions, and shifting tectonics. While the kickoff can usher in extra hobgoblin players for either side looking for glory on the pitch. So, you know, so there's some there's some interesting things there if you want to use those. Um, and, yeah. So the... Chaos Dwarf team, star players, bull centaurs, and all accessories are available to pre-order this weekend. So there you go. That's that's interesting stuff there, isn't there? But uh, what is even more super interesting is... Well, we'll get to it in a second. <laughs> First of all, this is the team, and hadn't seen the markers before, so they've got some flaming balls on the base there. You've got normal balls... You've got, I guess these are like turn or reroll markers. I'm not really sure. And then the coin. I really like the coin. It's got the classic Chaos Dwarf logo. BB, good colours. They've painted them, haven't they? Really nice. Really nice. So I like all that kind of stuff. I think that's pretty good. And then, yeah, the pitch. I'm actually a big fan of the pitch from what I've seen of it. Um, the cards, if, you wanna, if you're, if you're going to use those. I think the dice don't look amazing. I'm not a fan of the dice there. They look pretty difficult to read but here's the real juicy thing um, if you're involved in online blood ball or you know know anybody who plays tabletop and stuff you've probably seen this already this has been going around for quite a while on whatsapps and etc this is kind of like you know people said it was the spoiled team but they weren't sure however and i i had my doubts whether this was real but this 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 article on Warhammer Communities essentially confirmed that Flamesmiths are Movement 5, which adds a lot of credence to this to this uh, thing. So, I mean, if this is real, it's interesting, isn't it? Armour 9 plus for the Flamesmiths is very poor. <laughs> that will not be cool for them. And no block for them. At least they're a little bit cheaper than the blockers, but... Oh, I think these Flamesmiths are really bad players, if that's what they are. Like, actively bad players. And you're just taking them to not have to have a... F to not have to field a Hobgoblin, right? Like, that's essentially what you're saying there is. I just get a little bit of armour and the Ironheart skin and the Thick Skull. And it's just... It's... Oh, it's, it's They're bad. Flamesmiths are bad, if, if this is right. 
both centaurs are, are what you'd expect. Still no mutation access, of course, because they're perfect creations. Min Minotaur, Minotaur, just the same as you'd expect. Hobgoblin's just the same. Chaos Dwarf Blocker's just the same, except they've traded Tackle for Ironheart Skin, um, which, you know, that was already confirmed. And the Sneaky Stabbers only have General Primary, so there was talk of them having general and agility so they could get a sneaky git you know that would make, make them a little bit better but it looks like they can't get that and again this is not confirmed at all but it's very interesting that they said the flamesmiths are a bit quicker so that that one line in that preview is making me think that maybe this is legit we, we'll find out soon enough i i assume but um there you go anyway if you haven't seen this there it is so uh yeah um lots lots to think about i mean there's no point really speculating on this right because we we don't know that this is true but um you know i'm i'm sure it'll be spoiled uh soon enough all of the all of the official rules and then i can do more of a look at the at the things when it's all official but for now super interesting lots to think about and uh, it'll be cool to see them on the pitch very soon thanks for watching everybody don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic